नमस्कार आई एम सोमा सेन रॉय फ्रॉम इंडिया मीटरोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट एंड टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द वीकली वेदर ड्यूरिंग द लास्ट वन वीक दैट इज ड्यूरिंग थर्टींथ टू नाइनटीन जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एज वेल एज द वेदर ड्यूरिंग द अपकमिंग टू वीक्स अप टू सेकेंड ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री If you see the main weather systems during this last week we had a low pressure system over uh, northwest bay of bengal which uh, along with its remnant cyclonic circulation gradually moved towards south chatisgarh during the period 15th to 19th july 2023 another cyclonic circulation which had formed over the Uh, northwest bay of bengal in fact it's a series of circulations that are coming and this system is currently active 18th and 19th it was a cyclonic circulation today it is a low pressure system over the same region as a result of these two low pressure systems the eastern end of the monsoon trough has dipped into the bay of bengal for most parts of the week except in the beginning the east western end of is also uh, south of its normal position during the second half of the week under these active monsoon conditions there was another system which was very influential it was a slow moving western disturbance which interacted with the monsoon flow during 13th to 18th july 2023 the fourth system so to say is a shear zone which has appeared from 17th july and it still persists over the central indian region because of these weather systems and their interaction with the westerly trough, trough the rainfall has been uh, similar to active monsoon conditions over the entire indian region especially west coast of india where the mon- where the southwesterly monsoon flow was very strong the southwest sector of these low pressure systems which was over east central and east uh, uh, and north peninsular india and the region of interaction with the westerly trough which was over northwest india these are the three regions if you see where the main rainfall occurred This is the rainfall pattern so you can see southern part of peninsular india and northeast india after uh, 19th did not get much after uh, 13th did not get much rainfall This is the rainfall as realized by our drms network if you see the reds and the pinks show the extremely heavy rainfall episodes they are concentrated mostly over gujarat saurashtra kutch konkan and coastal karnataka and ghat regions of madhya maharashtra this was the most affected zone during this week in terms of the number of places which have recorded extremely heavy rainfall the second zone which was equally influential was over the western himalayan region where the monsoon flow interacted with the westerly system this is over jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh and uttarakhand the third zone so to say is over east central and uh, north peninsular india which was in the southwest sector of the monsoon low pressure systems which received rainfall due to the mon- the flow from the bay of bengal as well as the arabian sea the fourth zone not so influence uh, in- important was the northeast indian rainfall where rainfall heavy rainfall was realized mainly one to two days if you see day to day variation this is the rainfall of 13th realized on 14th july 2023 Uh, if you see the rainfall was mostly over uh, south konkan north coastal karnataka and over uh, south himalayan west bengal and a bit over uttarakhand this was the day when the monsoon trough was north of its no- the eastern end was north of its normal position 
by 14th there was uh, uh, that means which was realized on 15th uh, july not much extremely heavy or very heavy rainfall episodes were realized but on 16th uh, with the rainfall which was actually occurred for 15th july if you see the rainfall has started to appear in the region where the low pressure started to form which is over odisha over uh, the uh, madhya pradesh and vidarbha regions as well as uh, gujarat and over the himalayan sub uh, western himalayan region by the next day you can see that very heavy rainfall very little very heavy rainfall was realized over uh, east rajasthan again due to interaction with the westerly system and again the monsoon system gave very heavy rainfall over odisha the subsequent day which is 17th rainfall realized on 18th you will note that west coast east central india western himalayan region uttarakhand mainly became active which became even more active on 18th the rainfall being realized on 19th and more regions got extremely heavy rainfall of the order of 54 cm over gir somnath which is a record konkan got raigarh got 34 cm gujarat daman got 23 cm and madhya maharashtra got 28 cm of rainfall today's rainfall realized today the rainfall realized for yesterday indicates that the same pattern continues west coast has become even more active saurashtra and kutch has 31 34 cm of rainfall and uh, mangroli uh, uh, in junagar district has 34 cm whereas konkan and goa raigarh district two stations have reported 40 cm rainfall similarly we can see the southwest sector of this present low pressure system is also getting has also received rainfall and it is over mainly over telangana if you see as a result of all this rainfall the rainfall statistics of india shows that rainfall has is uh, that we are presently in a very active phase of monsoon the rainfall is near normal the cumulative rainfall is near normal at at present uh, as of july 20th 342 mm has been received over the country compared to 351.9 which is the uh, sorry 351.9 is the received rainfall and normal is 342 mm so we are slightly above normal region wise if you see the division north west india if you see rainfall is has been continues to be above normal east and northeast india below normal central india is very much above normal and south peninsular india is also above normal rainfall because of this rainfall pattern rather because of the movement of the low pressure systems from a slightly southward look uh, uh, southward location of mainly over uh, northwest uh, odisha region the regions of uh, jharkhand bihar east uttar pradesh and bengal as well as northeast india did not get too much rainfall so these regions if you see the weak rain weekly rainfall the weekly rainfall indicates that uh, this region eastern india has been mostly deficient rajasthan yes and of course the rain shadow region during this part of the uh, year which is the south east peninsular india which is normally uh, deficient during active monsoon conditions however because of the above average rainfall during the last uh, 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 months of june as well as up to 20th july northwest india overall seasonal rainfall has been very much above normal as i uh, said earlier uh, it has been normal over central and most parts of south peninsular india whereas east india and parts of northeast india have received deficient rainfall the rainfall statistics show exactly what i was mentioning it is plus 46% is the 
uh, rainfall received cumulative rainfall for northwest india it is near normal for south and central india whereas it is very much deficient over uh, east and northeast india minus 19% this is for the week whereas for the season if you see it is uh, again northwest india dominates with plus 46 percent and in seasonal rainfall south peninsula has not received too much rainfall which was shown in the seasonal rainfall map also if you see the weather systems today the monsoon trough continues to be south of its normal position with the eastern end dipping into the bay of bengal moisture is being fed into the interior of the indian subcontinent shear zone continues in the mid tropospheric levels along 20 degree north and because of these two weather systems rainfall is likely to continue over the south and the low pressure system it is likely to continue over east central india with the uh, with much uh, higher intensity than is normal uh, this is the rainfall map if you see the west coast is very active as well as over uh, east peninsular india rainfall is uh, much uh, more than uh, expected because of which we have given a red alert for extremely heavy rainfall over gujarat madhya maharashtra konkan and goa as well as telangana today and orange alert for most of the states over of central india today that is vidarbha Uh, north interior karnataka chatisgarh and odisha by tomorrow we expect the uh, rainfall to decrease slightly but spread to over more parts of central india that is east rajasthan over uh, west madhya pradesh vidarbha chatisgarh telangana and odisha orange alert will continue Saurashtra and Kutch tomorrow likely to see a slight decrease so orange alert from red alert it will go to orange alert whereas Gujarat Madhya, Madhya Maharashtra and Konkan especially ghat regions of Madhya Maharashtra here extremely heavy rainfall and hence red alert is likely tomorrow also by day after tomorrow we expect rainfall to decrease slightly however because of the strong westerly flow west coast will continue to get northern parts of the west peninsular coast gujarat and konkan and madhya maharashtra continue to get orange alert and odisha also will have orange alert rainfall is in is there is an indication that rainfall will significantly decrease on 23rd and 24th uh, of july before picking up again as i mentioned that there is a circulation which has formed a low pressure area 21st to 27th july indicates that this low pressure area is likely to uh, persist but uh, on 24th of july uh, rather it is likely to uh, become less marked subsequently but on 24th of july we expect a fresh low pressure system to form over northwest bay of bengal because of this uh, but because of these two consecutive low pressure systems and the likely intensification of the second low pressure system we expect the rainfall to be to follow a similar pattern to what has been realized till now which is west coast is likely to be extremely active and uh, the northern parts of peninsular india and east peninsular india including odisha chatisgarh madhya pradesh uh vidarbha telangana uh, this region is likely to get very heavy to extremely heavy rainfall as we have already discussed and uh, the, in terms of anomaly also these are the regions which are likely to get uh, above normal rainfall because of the southwest southward positioning of these low pressure systems the uh, parts of uttar pradesh bihar jharkhand and bengal will continue to receive less than normal rainfall during this upcoming week during week 2 we expect the monsoon trough to be normal or south of its normal position due to likely intensification of the this uh, 
subsequent uh, 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 low pressure system which is likely to form around 24th of July this which has already been mentioned here uh, rainfall pattern is not likely to see too much change and very heavy rainfall is likely over central east central india and adjoining peninsular india rest of the indian region is likely to get normal to above normal rainfall activity uh, north west india is likely to see a slight increase not slight a significant increase in rainfall activity from 25th of july under the conditions of this heavy rainfall we expect localized flooding of roads in cities water logging of low lying areas which is happening in many of the urban centers and occasional reduction in visibility during heavy rainfall disruption of traffic is also likely possibilities of damage to vulnerable structures over the mountainous regions we expect localized landslides mudslides flash flooding riverine flooding please consult the web page of central water commission and we also expect damage to horticulture and standing crops in some areas this is the forecast for the two weeks please follow us on these apps dhanyawad thank you